Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Study OT with Sophie. This week's topic is really interesting because we have a special patient. I think you might have heard of him before. He's a quite delightful patient, actually, and he says, don't often. This week's topic is on cardiopulmonary conditions. What are some risk factors? Some risk factors are, wait a second before we get there, we have Homer Simpson as our patient today. Well, we know his risk factors because of his lifestyle. He is obese, overweight, and he lacks exercise. He has stress due to Bart Simpson always getting him, you know, upset with hurting Lisa, annoying his mother. Homer Simpson, and everybody else in the family or other people around them. Well, with Homer Simpson's lifestyle, he is going to have an unhealthy blood cholesterol levels, LDL. He will have diabetes in the future, as well as hypertension. But of course, hypertension leads to diabetes. What are some uncontrollable factors? Age and gender. We know that Homer Simpson is of age which will affect him to have a heart condition. Coronary artery disease. What happens? The arterial wall becomes injured due to cigarette smoking or high blood pressure. A patient with coronary artery disease may be free of symptoms at rest, but develop angina. Okay, so we know that he will have Free symptoms at rest. If Homer Simpson were to smoke, he would have this problem. However, we know that his lifestyle can lead to this. Here are different heart disease. Angina is chest pain while eating or during exercise or different types of rigorous activities that can cause this. Also, exposure to cold can cause angina. Next one is congestive heart failure. When the heart cannot pump effectively and fluid backs up into the lungs or the body. This can be controlled with diet, medication, and rest. Last one is vulvar disease. What are the symptoms? The symptoms are shortness of breath, fainting, sudden death may also result over time. The purpose of the red font is to show you that, you know, each condition has something that's related to it. So for instance, angina, rigorous activities, angina, rigorous activities, congestive, cannot. So remember, cannot pump effectively. That's the purpose of the red marks. I always try to hint out things in case you're like taking your board exam and you're stuck, you're like, oh my God, what is angina? At least you have this as a backup and you're memorizing things that are important. What are classifications of heart disease? Class one, there's no limitations. Think about Homer Simpson, right? He has no limitations at this time with any activities. So he can do max met 6.5. Class two, slight activity limitation. Okay, he has some comfort at rest. Max met 4.5. Class three. Marked limitation, comfort at rest. There might be some chest pain, so max med 3.0 would be good. Class four, difficulty carrying out physical activity. So this is someone who's unable to do something due to having discomfort. So most of the time you'll see this patient like Homer Simpson sitting, on a couch or in the kitchen waiting for his wife to cook him something. At this level, class four, max met 1.5. Now we're gonna go through cardiac rehabilitation. Keep in mind that Homer Simpson is still our patient. So he had a heart problem. Now he ends up in the hospital and he had to have a surgery. What do you think happens now? So we monitor activities by checking blood pressure before and after activity and check patient's pulse. You focus on monitored low level physical activity, including self-care, reinforcement of cardiac 
and post-surgical precautions, instruction in energy conservation and graded activity, appropriate activity levels at discharge. So there's a picture of a sloth here. And we all know that sloths take their time to eat, move around. What do they do most of the time? They rest, that's all they do. So in this case, think about a patient who's resting, who's trying to go back to normal after surgery. The patient gets discharged from the hospital and goes to an outpatient cardiac rehabilitation, right? So this is where the discharge begins. Exercise can be advanced while the patient is closely monitored on the outpatient basis. Okay, so this is where we could have work hardening. The patient's at home, he has to go to an outpatient facility to get treated. That's why we have a picture of a horse. He's getting back on his feet, getting ready, work hardening. Phase three, community phase. Continuation of phase two activities. Exercise program in the community and a physician referral will be needed for him to be able to go back to his routine. Also, a stress test is really important. That's why I have a picture of this horse. He's getting ready to get back into the community and live his life. Here is the MET levels, but before we begin, there is a reason why I didn't write a lot because it gets really confusing. When you have a lot of words written on a PowerPoint, you start thinking, oh my God, how do I study or what do I focus on? So in this case, you are able to write whatever you want on your notes based on listening to me or based on writing exactly what it says here. I would suggest writing as little as possible so you can actually understand and remember the steps in case you're stuck during the exam because you, know, you don't want to sit there and think and lose your minutes while you're taking your board's exam. You really need to manage your time well. Now, stage one is 1 1.0 to 1 1.4 MET level. What happens during this time? Think about it, Homer Simpson. He's getting back on his feet. He's feeding himself. His wife brings him food while he's sitting by the table, right? He's eating. What happens next? He plays game boards with his children. He also reads books, which we don't really see him read books, but we know that he can watch TV for hours while sitting on the couch. Um, he can definitely check his emails all day long if you give him a computer or you could think about homer simpson just sitting there during you know his working hours doing nothing making believe is working but really he's just sleeping eating donuts and um, drooling about food all day now for stage two 1.4 to 2.0 met what happens here Homer Simpson decides that shaving is important. So he goes to the bathroom while sitting and shaves his beard off or his little hairs, the three little hairs he has on his head. What else does he do? He does grooming while seated. At this point, no isometric is allowed. Stage three, 2.0 to 3.0. Homer Simpson already knows that he's allowed to stand while grooming. That's the only thing he can do. But he needs to sit while taking a shower. In this case, Homer knows that he can only sit during the three first stages. Stage four to six, he can actually stand. So stage four, 3.0 to 3.5, he showers in standing doesn't sit anymore. Um, he's able to do light housework and help his wife, March Simpson, with gardening his beautiful backyard or front yard. St 
stage five, 3.5 to 4.0 met, he starts walking, cycling, golfing and dancing, also digging in the garden. Stage six, 4.0 to 6.5, his ambulation increases to 3.5 miles per hour on leveled surfaces. And he starts to slow dance. We know that Homer Simpson likes to dance with his beer in his hand. Not that I'm suggesting to do that. This is something I've decided to put here. It's one of the pulmonary conditions. Emphysema is a condition where alveoli rupture or enlarge. The lungs lose elasticity. Dyspnea is shortness of breath. What do we do as a treatment for someone who has this? Um, we to dyspnea control posture. When sitting, Homer will bend forward slightly at the waist while supporting the upper body by leaning the forearms on the table or thighs. Here are the treatment techniques that you can teach Homer Simpson and his family members. First, lip breathing energy conservation, patient and family education. Teach Homer's family, symptom management, risk factors, diet, exercise, and energy conservation, which must all be taught to his family members. Oh no, poor Homer, he can't get any more donuts. Oh, Chief Wiggum is in the way. Seems like Homer is stuck picking a fruit. Here is the reference page. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I'm glad you watched my video. Subscribe, like, and comment. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Good luck.